New at 10 tonight, Halloween is a big business. More than $3 billion will be spent on candy, then another $844 million on pumpkins. And if you want to save a dollar or two here, an East Bay artist has found the perfect way to preserve his pumpkins. As KTVU's Frank Malico reports, they keep popping up on every corner. They sit in cold storage, stuffed into boxes for 334 days. But come October 1, it's showtime. Oh yeah, I'll come out here and sit for an hour and just watch them. It's like a Christmas tree. But long before these great pumpkins get lit, they get carved by Wanna Creek master artisan, Johnny Marsha. For the last 20 plus years, his East Bay driveway has been a must-see Halloween extravaganza. 250 plus squashes by day turn into pumpkin Picassos by night. From Disney witches to haunted mansions, from AI inspired monsters to Supreme Court justices, all with such intimate details, they practically come to life. But make no mistake, these pumpkins are very much dead. They're all fake, they're all styrofoam. So that's how I can keep so many looking so nice without them rotting. Every year I have a theme. This is my Day of the Dead year. This pumpkin carver's tale dates back to the late 50s when these paper mache gourds were part of his father's Halloween display. He was hooked. And now some six decades later, he's taking it to new heights, creating 25 new carvings each October. You zone out. It's, it's meditation. You zone out. You just, you just forget about everything else. Any artist will tell you that. You're just concentrating so hard on your stuff that, uh, that you aren't thinking of anything. And that's, that's, the, that's the fun of it. Add more definition to the tongue. Johnny carves at twilight with a technique called shading. The deeper the cut, the lighter the color, which brings these pumpkins to three-dimensional life. He calls his carvings his kids, and each kid takes a good three to four hours to create. So there is a good 1,000 hours of pumpkin carving time in this display. That's 41 days of work, and it's all done with a Dremel. I feel like a dentist. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. yeah, I really relate to my dentist and her drilling away on my teeth. It all starts with a photo and a big imagination. Johnny's a perfectionist. He's still hoping to create the perfect pumpkin. That's what makes a good artist, Frank. Oh my God, if you were satisfied with your work, you'd just sit there and do that same old work over and over again. So in 2021, uh, John had his display out there. Neighbor Neil Berg was so impressed with Johnny's work, he posted a display video and was blown away by the response. And it took off. We got 3.5 million views, multiple tags. People were just going nuts on it. It was, uh, it was a really cool experience to see his beautiful carvings take off like that. Johnny loves each kid, but does sell a handful each year. The pumpkins aren't promoted. It's all word of mouth. But if you are curious, he does have one cardinal rule. Don't touch! <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Don't touch! Oh my God, they're little clawing hands. <laughs> Frank Balico, KTVU, Fox 2 News.